post a video featuring the world's longest dart point. This is gonna be a fun one, guys. Here we go. Here. So we've got a bizarre video for you today. I'm going to show you guys what it's like when you take things to the absolute extreme limits with these Vokes ELC 89 millimeter long points. You heard that right? 89 millimeters long. I can't even believe I'm doing this video. However, you know what? These are the longest dart points, the world's longest dart points you can buy stock out of the package. However, I did have to customize them, which was incredibly simple. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. But yeah, I did have to customize them to get them to fit into a normal dart barrel. So again, yeah, I'm gonna show you that here in a couple minutes. However, I did pick them up at Dart Brokers right here in the United States. And luckily for us, they were in the clearance section. So I'm gonna have a link down below. It's gonna take you over to their clearance section. And they have some other great deals as well. So take your time, have a look around, see if you can score yourself a deal. As far as these points, they come in a variety of different lengths. And of course, I had to go with the extra long version. I thought it would make for a fun video, right? So again, yeah, nothing too serious today, all in a bit of fun. Now, as far as the catch with these darts, these points were only intended for the Vokes ELC barrel. Now, as you see, the point runs through the entire length of the barrel, and there's a stopper on the end of these points. Now, that stopper prevents the point from falling straight out of the barrel. What I had to do to get them to fit into these barrels or any other set of barrels, I had to use a Dremel and I ground down the end. And again, I'm gonna show you that here in just a second. So I ground down the end to 2.3 millimeters and they fit perfectly in this set of barrels. So, hey, I guess I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna show you how they throw because I think that's what everybody's wondering. Did these things throw all right? Well, you saw the intro, right? Almost had three in the bullseye. These things group tighter than you could ever imagine and they throw a lot easier than you would ever imagine as well. So again, should be a fun video, guys. Let's get into it. Here we go. Okay, guys, so let me show you what I'm doing here, and it all starts with the Vokes ELC Extra Long Points made in the USA since 1980. So these are the points. Let me get them out of here. Yeah, this is just getting ridiculous, isn't it? Look at that. 89 millimeters long there. Now, check this out. This is what we have to deal with. There's the flat spot on the top. Basically, it looks like they just stuck them in a press flatten these things out and it flared to 2.5 millimeters wide on the top so i'm gonna have to grind down that edge and that edge to get them to 2.3 millimeters to match the rest of this point here so i can get them installed i've got this little grinder here it's gonna have to work I, you know i wish i had a bench grinder but i don't now for reference hopefully you guys know these darts these are the frankensteins 10 gram red dragon feather lights 66 millimeter point of which 61 millimeters is showing so there's the difference let's see if we can get these evened up <laughs> yeah the point is almost as long as the point in the barrel on the frankensteins look at that yeah this is this is getting insane so here's the deal guys i don't want to harm these frankensteins you can't get these barrels anymore so we're going to leave them be however i will use the 18 gram no door darts i don't mind if i ruin the barrels here I'll be able to sleep at night, but um, we're going to try to get these points installed in here. So again, I've got to go grind down this flat spot, and uh, I'll be back with the results, and hopefully we can get them installed in these no-door darts. So yeah, let's see how this goes. I don't promise anything. Okay, guys, that was way easier than I thought it would go. I mean, I literally took just a couple minutes each, and uh, I didn't knock off any length. I just knocked off those side things, and there you go. So what I'm going to do... I'll now get two of these repointed, see how it goes, and then I'll repoint the last dart on video for you guys, and then we'll get them on the board. I don't even know if they're going to work, but hey, we're going to try it here, right? So um, yeah, let's get this repointing tool going and see if I can get them installed. Okay, guys, I'm pretty impressed here. I got to say, that was one of the most simple repointing jobs I've ever done. You can see I've got two done. My blood pressure didn't go up. I didn't swear. It was honestly way, way easier than I thought it would be. So yeah, I've got two done. Told you I'd do this last one on video, so what you do, you screw this up and get it lined up, get it somewhat pressed in there, and we take our 8 millimeter Allen key. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm doing this. You just give it a few turns and then wait until you feel it bottom out. And right there was it. Just a couple turns like that. 
we take the little four millimeter, undo that. Oh, I did that wicked tight. I didn't want them to slip. And I gotta say, it's actually kind of hard doing this on video. And then you gotta really unscrew this because this point doesn't wanna, the dart doesn't wanna come out because this point is so long. So let me unscrew this. Do, do, do. Will it come out now? Nope. A little more. Ah, oh, come on. Let me say I can't do another take. There we go. So, all right, that's done. Holy crap. Wow. Are you kidding me? That is so ridiculous. We've got the red Condor Metallic, Condor Axe Metallic. I'm not even sure what flights I'm going to use. I haven't thrown these yet. And there we go. Totally repointed. Oh, you know what we're going to do? Where's my, hold on a second. Get my calipers here. I want to see what is showing. So if these are 89 millimeters long, there should be about, let's see. 84 millimeters showing. Holy crap. So 84 millimeters showing on these darts. Again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to throw these things. I don't know if they're going to stick in the board, but hey, we're going to try. So let's get these on the board. Have a little bit of fun. Oh, hey, so before we get the no doors on the dartboard to test them out, I wanted to give you a quick visual just so you can see how absurd these things are. So starting down below, we've got my match darts. I've been using these all of 2023. $16, 90% tungsten darts, clearance darts with a 26 millimeter target storm point. Now these things next to the Frankenstein darts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, that's quite a difference there. And then these, I don't even know what you want to call these. If these are the Frankensteins, what are we going to call these things? I have no idea. Comment down below. Give me a name for the uh, no doors. But there we go. 23 millimeter difference here. Frankenstein's again, 61 millimeters sticking out of the barrel. These 84 millimeters long. That is just insane. But yeah, let's get them on the board. We're going to have a bit of fun here. I will be adding some tridents. I have thrown these. And you know what? They actually throw really, really well. But I did get a couple darts on the floor, some crazy deflections. So I will be adding some tridents and uh, hopefully that helps. But yeah, let's get them on the board and have some fun. Here we go. All right, the moment you've been waiting for. How well do these things work? Let's find out. I did warm up or I did play with them yesterday. I played with them last night, about 10 minutes now warming up. So I am used to them. It is it's shocking how well they work or you just wouldn't expect them to throw all that well. But hey, they do. My my grip, point of finger and thumb is close to the nose cone as I can get my other three fingers resting right on top of the point. So Hey, it's comfortable and it seems to work. So let's see how this goes, right? Hey, there's an optical illusion. That's one of the negatives. Yeah, the optical illusion is it's hard to see where they land in the board just because that barrel is so far away from the board. I thought that was low for a second, but hey, that's in the treble 20. Let's see if we can get one next to it. No. The other side, what do we got there? 95 to kick things off with. <laughs> now, of course, I'm not gonna recommend anybody use a point this long, but hey, it doesn't hurt to experiment, does it? There's been a few professionals that have pushed that 50 millimeter point boundary, Justin Pipe being one of them. I think he used like 51 or 52, maybe even 53 millimeter long point. There's been a couple other professionals that have been upper 40 millimeters. So, again, it doesn't hurt to experiment, does it? And as far as these things sticking in the board, again, Vokes, they make some quality points. I've had no problem with them sticking in. I haven't had any bounce outs, nothing off the wire. So, can't really complain there. Can I fit that in there? Oh, where's that going? Totally blocked. But yeah, these definitely go tail down. I haven't been able to fix that, but again, I'm dealing with some ridiculous darts here. All right, get up a little bit. Oh, and as far as the, the weight gain here, these were, oh, hey, there it is. These were 18 gram darts. Now they're 20. So 
I've gained a couple grams. But yeah, I mean, if these, you know what, to be honest, I, I could probably cut them down, but if these were 66 millimeters, I would totally replace the silver points in my Frankenstein darts with these. I mean, I, I love Vogue's points. They're, they're really nice stuff, high quality. <clears throat> oh, get up a little bit. Can I sneak that one in there? Left hand side. Yes. Third dart saver. <laughs> they are a bit of fun though. I probably will keep these in the collection and just use them like this. Just, just for laughs more than anything. But oh hey, this weekend if you want to see me play a best of three, best of five with these, 501, let me know. I could make a video this weekend. Might be entertaining. I don't know about the standard, but we'll see. It could go either way. I could play really well or maybe not so well. Wow, that one is tail down. I'm gonna go for cover. Again, should we call it? Third dart, treble 19, with a flicker of the camera as well. <laughs> we'll do one more. Just having a blast here, to be honest. It's it's comical throwing these things, but as you see, they're they're throwing okay. That covered the treble almost entirely. Somehow that went in. <laughs> oh my god, those those last dart number two and three, the points are touching right there on the board. Wow. Unreal. Well, hey, I want to call it there, guys. We got a beautiful looking 180 to, to wrap things up with. I think that's gonna be it for the video. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun making it, but yeah, let's roll into the 180. We'll wrap things up, let's go. pretty nice I gotta say that so hey um that was a lot easier than I expected I'm telling you right now guys these darts throw a hundred times easier than you would ever imagine matter of fact I gotta brag a little bit I threw that 180 earlier in the day all three points were touching that is probably one of the tightest 180s I've ever thrown in my life but yeah I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with this setup they throw amazingly well you've got to try it so hey if you enjoyed the video thumbs up always appreciated but leave a comment down below let me know what you thought of the video let me know what you thought of this wild setup and reminder link down below in the pinned comments gonna take you over to two dart brokers in the United States they have a ton of different sizes with these points all on clearance as well so that's a bonus I forget what they were I think they were like eight dollars a set with a little tiny bit of customization, you can get them to fit into pretty much any set of barrels. So um, yeah, pretty pretty easy to do if you ask me. One of the easier projects I've ever done. Um, what else? Yeah, I definitely recommend it. I mean, if you guys are looking for longer points, I mean, obviously these are a little bit silly, right? However, I mean, if you wanna go 20, 30 millimeters shorter, this is not a bad option. They're really nice points, guys. Vokes makes some nice stuff and they actually have the tornado points. I'll put a picture up over here. They have the tornado points, which is kind of like a target storm point. Highly recommend those. There's a lot of players that use them. I know one of my um, subscribers from the UK swears by those things. They're great points. So I guess that's it for the video, guys. I'm sweating. Let's get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a blast to make and we'll see you on the next one. How am I going to do this? <laughs> Later. Why you think they call me Mr. World?